What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you what to do if your PlayStation 5 controller will not connect to your PlayStation 5. Let's get right into this. So this easy fix is just like I did before in the past for the PlayStation 4 controller not connecting to the PlayStation 4. It is basically the same exact steps and it is super easy and most of these most of the time these steps do work for most people. So I recommend checking these out first before you go and purchase a new PS5 controller because that will cost you money. Most of these, if not all of these, won't cost you anything. So let's just get started. The first thing you're going to want to do if your PS5 controller won't connect to your PS5 is to connect the controller to the PS5 using the cable that came with your PS5 and then press the PlayStation button. This should let you use the controller. Then if it does, you're going to want to disconnect the cable and it should continue to use uh, continued to connect via Bluetooth. If it doesn't work anymore, you're going to want to check the next step, which is to use a different USB type C cable. Now, sometimes the cables are really cheap. They can become damaged, but if you use a different one, you're going to want to use one that's not only good for charging, but also transferring data. That's the one you need to be able to use for the PlayStation 5 controller. I'm not sure why I thought a charging only one would work, but it's recommended that you use one that can also transfer data as well. So if you try a new cable and that works with the new cable, and whenever you disconnect it, it stays connected to your system via Bluetooth, your problem is solved. If it still doesn't work, move on to the next step. The next step is to simply check the USB port on the PS5 and the Type-C port on your controller. You're basically looking for any type of damage or anything that's out of the ordinary and for certain circumstances, which normally the PS5 is new so I wouldn't include it, some people neglect their systems unfortunately and some people don't have it in a clean environment and there can be dirt and other things that are built up in these ports. You're going to want to clean it Make sure there's no damage, make sure everything's okay. If it is, move on to the last step. And the last step for an easy and quick fix to connect your PS4 to your PlayStation 5 if you're having a problem doing so, is to simply unsync the PS5 controller from the PS5. To do this, you're gonna to want to connect the controller to the PS5 using the cable. If that does work for you and it does work while it's wired, you're then gonna to want to go under devices and you're gonna to want to unsync the PS5 controller. Then you're gonna to want to connect the cable once again and you're gonna try it again as if it's a new PS5 controller. You're gonna connect the cable to it, you're gonna press the PS button and hopefully that does work and it does connect via Bluetooth. Then when you unhook the cable, it should stay connected once again. If it doesn't, there could be something internally with the PlayStation 5 controller. It could be one of the uh, little cables, either the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth cable that is for whatever reason disconnected and you either have to open up the controller or possibly purchase a new controller. If you don't know and you're unsafe uh, or if you're unsure how to open up the controller and you don't want to do it if you're not tech savvy, I recommend taking it somewhere that can open it up. See if there's an issue before going and spending so much money on a brand new controller. But these for the most part will work for most people, the easy fixes I talked about in this video. So I recommend checking these first before advancing to taking it to somebody for repairs or buying a new controller because that will cost you a lot more money than checking these easy fixes would. So hope this has helped you fix your PlayStation 5 controller. If it did, please leave a like, but also if it didn't, Realize that these easy fixes don't work for everybody. This isn't a scam. I'm not trying to scam you and get views. These fixes work for a lot of people. The comments will show that. But again, it does not work for everybody. If you have an, a bigger problem than what I can fix with an easy fix, it obviously won't work for you. But I hope you guys liked this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope it helped fix your PS5 controller. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.